were just after this very exciting session here at uh, PCR, a session of uh, PVI at uh, PCR. And uh, uh, I think it's extremely important that the whole interventional community is getting together uh, at uh, those two meetings. Uh, this, uh, what uh, has, uh, has happened today, is just an introduction to what is going to be happening in November, also uh, here in Paris. Uh, there's been an excellent uh, overview of the uh, new data and the state of the art uh, going from the toe uh, to the carotids. Uh, in uh, all the important uh, uh, vascular uh, regions uh, that suffer from atherosclerosis and that make patients uh, come and uh, see us either for uh, clinical symptoms or for prevention of uh, events uh, such as limb loss or uh, stroke. I've been personally uh, involved in the carotid, uh, carotid topic, preparing the carotid topic uh, for you. Uh, that uh, has uh, overviewed the most recent evidence regarding how strokes should be prevented, both in terms of primary prevention and secondary stroke prevention, using the endovascular route uh, rather than uh, surgery uh, in 2023 and beyond. We know today that we have uh, appropriate devices to uh, protect the brain during the procedure from embolism, but also after the procedures. And that today we can achieve uh, endovascular reconstruction of the carotid bifurcation with a total exclusion uh, of the uh, total sealing of the atherosclerotic plaque that uh, would uh, pacify this plaque, this lesion, in terms that the plaque would no longer be able to cause clinical sim symptoms of uh, stroke. So what we have discussed during the session is both the uh, protection devices and the differences between so-called distal protection and proximal protection, where you uh, can transit the stop or reverse the flow to the carotid artery so that the flow is from the diseased, uh, uh, through the diseased segment from the brain out, removing all the debris that is generated during the procedure. But also we have discussed in more detail the importance of the post-procedural period. The post-procedural period is where you do not have the protection device any longer uh, in your artery. There's no uh, umbrella as a filter umbrella. There's no flow reversal device so that the interaction is between the stent and the plug. And we know from large uh, clinical series, such as the CREST study, for instance, also last, the uh, large Japanese registry, that uh, 60 to 80% uh, of clinical events that are usually minor strokes by 30 days, they occur after the procedure. It means that the protection device is no longer there. It is what, what happens uh, is uh, is the result of the interaction between the plaque and the stent. And with the prior generation carotid stents, we've been not really able to control this interaction because uh, there were uh, events of plaque prolapse, plaque protrusion through the stent struts, like the cheese grater effect. And uh, those, uh, uh, those have been identified uh, uh, mainly by the Japanese groups with uh, IVUs, with OCT, and they are linked to those uh, uh, post-procedure events that really were responsible for the difference between first uh, generation carotid stenting and carotid endarterectomy. Now with second generation devices, we have evidence uh, coming from diffusion weighted uh, brain imaging on MRI, but also from head to head randomized comparisons of, uh, uh, of, the, of, a, of a classic first generation uh, stent, uh, the Aculink stent, the Crest uh, st study device versus the Micronet covered stent that has a very similar nitinol platform, but there's this micronet mesh that covers the, the struts uh, on, the, uh, on the outside of the struts in the micronet uh, covered stand. So uh, 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 it's been just an introduction uh, during this session to what will be happening much more at uh, PVI. And uh, again, I, I, I want to say I'm really uh, extremely happy personally and very excited about uh, putting the interventional community together at those two important meetings. This one, PCR, is mo more devoted to the heart. Uh, PVI is devoted to the uh, vascular uh, interventions. And uh, I think it's, we are going to have a lot of exciting new data and a lot of exciting 
multi-specialty interactions uh, here in Paris in November. So see you in November in Paris. Thank you.